Hello everyone, my name is Ange and welcome back to the channel. Today's video isn't so much of an episode as it is a backyard renovation video. I wanted to post the backyard reno separately since I wanted to spend some time on it, but don't worry, I'll be posting a regular episode tomorrow. Also, if you are not aware, the Blooming Rooms kit is free right now on the EA app, so go get it if you can. I'll be making a separate video later on focusing on that. Um, we'll probably look at a few of the items today, but I'll, I'll have a separate video where we look at all of the items from that pack. All right, let's jump into this renovation. Okay, so here is the backyard that we are working with, and we have 14,509 simoleons. I think we can do quite a bit with that. Now, I was playing around with the idea of possibly possibly getting a pool i'm not sure we'll see we'll see um we'll see what happens with that i'm going to first thing i want to do is clean up the backyard so we're going to delete everything here i think maybe except the fence and these trees and then we'll see what we're at we'll see what we're working with and after i clean all this up i am going to just go back to um, our 14,000 because after we like delete all of this stuff, we're going to get a lot more money from it, which I don't want. I don't want all that extra money. I know. Why wouldn't I want all that extra money? Well, because I didn't earn it. Okay. You have to delete it. So I'll go back to our regular money after that. So here is the backyard all cleaned up. I did keep these two shrubs and these two trees. Now, I think I am going to do like, I, I brought down our money. I brought back our money to our, our original money, 14509 Now, I was thinking I'm going to replace the fence. So what if I sell this fence and then we keep the money that we sell from the fence? So we're going to be replacing it anyway. So that gives us a little bit more money to play around with, which is nice. Now, I was thinking we could use this white picket fence, which is red ironically but i think what we'll do instead is we'll just keep it open so that can be like a little entrance and then we'll do the same on this side now i kind of brought ours back a little bit i might even have the backyard start just where this deck is where, right where the deck starts i think that makes sense oh and then we can tuck the garbage actually a garbage back here that's a good idea so let me grab the garbage can and tuck that back here. Okay, and then we're gonna fence the rest of the yard in with this lovely red. Okay, so they are gonna eventually have kids. So I definitely wanna make this a kid-friendly back backyard as well. Um, I want there to be a woodworking table. So I just wanna like grab the things that I know that I want for sure. For sure. I thought it would be cute if Gavin <clears throat> To make a bunch of things for the kids um i don't know if we're gonna have one kid or multiple kids either way i think it'd be nice if you could make a bunch of stuff for um them oh there's no red bird feeder we do have an orange bird feeder we can put that in the backyard there's a set of jungle gyms out in the front yard i'm sorry there's a set of there's a set, there's a set of monkey bars out in the front yard so we don't have to worry about that the backyard is big enough for a water slide, but I don't I don't know. I think I'd rather have a small pool than a water slide. Yeah, I was thinking which side I want to put the pool on. I think we have the same amount of room on both sides. Okay, I put the grid on, so it's a little bit easier to see where I'm drawing this pool. What if we do something like that? That could be like an interesting shape, right? For a small pool. I don't hate that, to be honest. I think what I need to do <clears throat> as well is just erase that terrain paint here. I'm going to erase this terrain paint here. We can add more to the front if we want to as well. Oh, we're already down to 11. Okay. So let me go back to my pool really quick. I want to take a look at our pool trim. We've got a beautiful red pool trim as we should. Now I was thinking of a nice tile or brick maybe to go around the pool, like 
like this one. Gorgeous. I see. I think that's really pretty. Um, but also petition for the Sims 4 team to bring me that tiny little front fence from the get to work expansion pack or whatever pack. Can you please bring that to the base game? I need it. It is a necessary tool for building. It's like small, small, tiny, 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 barely there fence. And I love to use it section things off like this. Like I would put it right here. I don't love that for that. Oh my gosh, they have a red version of this deck foundation. Give me, give me that. Thank you. I wonder if I could put a small little porch right here. I think we don't really get around that. But does that really matter? You because you can get around that way. So I want to put one here above the garbages. Or should we have this side blocked off? <clears throat> have the other stairs on this side. Let's change them both into these brick stairs. I like those all heck of a lot better. <clears throat> and that also matches our brick foundation. Or sorry, not our brick foundation, our brick school tile. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Um, this is like the first one I picked. I didn't even check anything else, but I like this one. This brick is really pretty to me. Maybe we'll do these ones because they're cheaper. <laughs> do something like this, which would also be cheaper. I don't know. I don't know. I like my brick for now. Let's keep my brick. Let's keep it for now. I am just going back and forth a million times over here. We could also like have it mostly these bricks and just have like a small spot where it's grass so we can put some flowers. We can have like a barbecue area over here. Okay. Okay. I have an idea. I've got some ideas. So let's make this into a nice little planted area. We can use these same low fences to kind of block these areas in. We can do that to here and on this side. It makes, I think it looks like little garden boxes. I think that's cute. I used to make little garden boxes with these like this too. I do want to try and use a lot of red flowers if we can. With these hollyhocks, the, these are from the romantic garden pack. I like to take three of them and then I'll put two side by side and then raise one of them like maybe two or three and then put that kind of like in the middle or like off to one side so it kind of looks like it's growing upwards and i think that just looks really nice there now i'm just putting some of these low-lying pale yellow flowers underneath where i put the bigger flowers you could put these down first it doesn't really matter um, I just kind of like to put those underneath to fill in space. I'll probably put one over here as well. Okay, and then up here, actually, let's do this too. Oh, that's kind of cute. I'm putting a couple of these um, loungers, these little cheapy ones, underneath the tree by the pool. I think that is super cute. And the tree is kind of like a little umbrella, you know? We can put this cute red hose right here. Wait. Oh, this citrus tree from that new pack that I just got is so cute. Let me use this here, over here. I want to put some planters over here too. So if I put this like kind of right here. I apologize for me going all over the place. This is how I build in real life. This is how my brain works. I just like go from one thing to the next and then back and forth and back and forth. Okay, that's not what I was looking for. I keep getting distracted. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can put a wind chime up here. We've got the bamboo with the steel, I think, and the ceramic. Let's do these ceramic ones. And we can put like a little table down there. Oh, well, look at this new table and it comes in red. It comes in this red color or it comes in this black. The black has white flowers. This one has these like purpley red flowers. Wow, that is a super gorgeous table. Beautiful. Okay. And then maybe we can put one of those little candles from the backyard pack. This gnome is kind of adorable. I would love to put him somewhere. Maybe we can put him in here when we do this one. We'll see. 
Oh, what about this little scented citronella candle? It's even like a black with the red trim. <gasps> cute. Okay. That is very cute. Got a little porch out here. I really, really love this table. I want that table. I want that table in real life. Okay, this is this backyard is coming together. All right, let's go finish this this spot. I wanted to use this one, but it's kind of big. Maybe we'll size that down and use that here. Question: Can we put something on here? It would be cool if we could. The, no, we can. No, we actually can. I kind of love that. What are we going to put on there? Got to be something that fits, obviously. Oh my gosh, look at all of these amazing new plants. I cannot wait to take a vacation station. <gasps> wait, that is so cool. I can't wait to take a look at all of these things. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a huge plant person. I like, I grew, I started all my own seeds for my garden this year. So this is going to be a lot of fun for me to go through. Don't worry, that'll be in uh, a video coming up very shortly. What about putting this uh, watering can up here? That's kind of fun. Kind of fun, I dig it. Okay. I don't know about this guy yet. He's a maybe. Or a little gnome guy. I kind of like that he's underneath this big leaf. That's cute. Kind of hiding underneath there. That's going to protect him from the rain. I like that. All right, so there's our second little garden box done. Oh, those garden pots come in red. Maybe we can put a couple of these garden pots out here. I'm debating if we put this on either side as well. I'm telling you, petition for the Sims 4 team to bring that really, really tiny, barely there fence from get to work into the base game, please, because it is essential. Essential, essential. It is essential for me to build. I need it. Okay, I think I'd like to have a little barbecue area over here. This striped umbrella, which is kind of fun. Or we can do the solid red one. This one is red and black, but I think we need to break things up. So let's get let's get this one. Let's get this one with the white stripes. We'll get some of these little chairs to go with it. You know what? I actually really like this old style traditional grill and it even like it's white, but it's got some red flowers on it. So I think it still counts. Okay. And here's the little eating area I made. We've got our little table with umbrella. We've got our chairs. We've got our traditional grill, a little countertop, a sink, and a trash can. I've got a little woodworking bench over here and a couple planter boxes. I'm not sure or not planter boxes, planter pots. I'm not sure what else we should add back here. Oh my God, it's just like a big bush in the corner here. I put a couple more planter pots right here because why not? They're only 50 simoleons each. I might not even use them, but they're kind of cute to have, I think. I did them like that. There we go. And then we've got our hose right there. It's perfect access, even though it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, this is looking really good. I I think this might be it for the backyard, um, like buying wise. We can always add stuff on later if I've forgotten anything. I think this is looking so good. The only thing I want to do now is maybe connect some path. So we were using this little red brick path, it looks like. Let's try and use that again. And you know what I can actually do first, which is what I used to do, is actually put down the darker dirt first. And then we put the brick on top of it. Like we use the darker dirt as our guide. All right, I may have gone too dark on that, but let's see. We're going to take this and then we're going to go over top. See, I want to have more of the dark on the outer edges, but it's not bad. I, um, I could have just gone with a bigger brush with the darker one. Now I know for next time. You don't have to do it everywhere. I just kind of like, maybe I would have to do this part to be honest. A little bit here and there here and there so now we've got some nice paths that go to both of our backyard fences that's nice actually that looks good this is a nice looking backyard let's take a quick little tour of the backyard over here shall we so here is our little porch a little deck area here we are up on the porch and then here is our view from our little porch slash deck 
So when we go down the stairs here, we've got our pool on the right hand side, and we've got a couple little chairs over there. If you go around the corner, that is where our trash can is. And we've got a little light there, so you know you can see what you're doing when you take the trash can out in the middle of the night. Um, over on this side, we've got our bird feeder and a cute little garden area with a bunch of cute flowers. We've got some hollyhocks, some roses, and then over to this side, we've got like a nice little here with an umbrella so you, the sun it doesn't burn you alive. Um, we've got some chairs. We've got a nice little um, eating area. We've got a nice little, sorry, we've got a nice little cooking area over here. We've got one of those traditional grills, a little countertop, a sink, and a trash can. We've got another little garden area over here with our cute little gnome. And over here, we've got our woodworking bench for Gavin. And then I put a couple planter pots in here as well. I don't know who's going to use them, if we do use them, if not. Um, but I thought it'd be nice to have and look really nice in our cute little backyard. So this is Gavin and Carmine's new backyard. And after that, their house is now officially completely renovated. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this episode here. I will see you all tomorrow in our next episode, in our actual episode. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those good YouTube things. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.